Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Sure. So the uh, the output should look like this drawing here. What? So the, the, the I'm trying to figure out the output of the function. Yeah, so actually you need to create actually, you know, as you see, so you are not given given the the signature method signature. Yeah, but I'm saying so like, the hint, yeah. yeah, you need to. For example, you are given actually your. Will be void, uh, right? Draw h. Draw h tree. So you are given int x, int y, mm -hmm. and int lens. Mm -hmm. Int uh, depths. Okay. This is what you are given. So you need to implement this. You need to implement this method. This method. So finally, it should draw this this H tree. So if, for example, if you are given depths two, it should it should draw actually this on the right. picture. So just print it out In to the console. So yeah. So you can I can give you a hint with. So you are given also um, draw line, but actually it does. Okay. You are given x one, y one, x two, y two. What it does? It does. It's just draw, just draw line, draw line. So if you have, for example, a point A which is x1 and y1 mm -hmm. and and b so x2 and y2 yeah it will just draw line between these two points it will just see, connect yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. so you need to use this method so just to create this draw h3 mm -hmm. So also x and y, x and y. These are the centers, centers of first H. Okay. You are given first H, so this is the center car coordinates. Okay. So if you had like, say you have this, this, and then I guess uh, I don't know how to. Let's see. And then you have something like, like that. Yes. And then, so the the x and the y originally refer to center of uh, h line, h uh, ver horizontal line. Like right, yes, right here. Here, yeah, right here, okay. right there. These are coordinates of x y. Okay. So depth, and then depth is how many of these we draw, and then the yeah. the length is length, yeah is every that? every depth when you are decreasing, so it will be also decreased by um, square root two. Root two. Drawing the two segments of the same length. Could you explain that part again, the the length? So, uh, for example, this this yeah. length, yeah. this length equals to this horizontal, right? Both horizontal. So you have look. So you have two horizontal lines. Yeah. One this. Uh, oh, sorry. Two vertical and one horizontal, yeah. right? So this is like this length of this. Okay, they're all the same vertical, length. Vertical. Yeah, the same everything. So each time, each time when you are moving to depth two, when you are drawing, or drawing for example, this depth two, yeah, this h, the length of this h, it will be length divided by uh, square root two. Okay. If you, for example, if it's five, for example, length length is equals to five. So next, next iteration, it will be five divided five by square root two. Wait, five divided by. So if it's five, five, then yes. So five 
Next time it is five square two. Then, then next iteration it will be five divided by just two, correct? Mm, okay, that's the length. I see. So it just gets smaller and smaller every time. Smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking this is probably going to be some kind of recursive solution. Yes. Where you're probably recursing four times. And with each time you pass in the length that's getting smaller, you need to pass in the new coordinates. Um, and then probably the first thing you want to do is first draw first. So first you want to draw the H. Exactly. And then you want to pass in the tips of the H because that's going to be your new center point. So yes. basically like right, like the top of this here, the top of that, etc. So those are going to be your X, Y's. Yes. We have the lengths and then the depth is basically where we're going to stop our recursion. That's going to be our base case. Once our depth hits zero, yes. something like that. Um, okay. So I think I probably should have wrote that down. <laughs> um, so first we want to do is uh, probably draw the H. Um, actually, the first thing we want to do, uh, first check if we've reached our depth. The next thing we want to do is uh, draw the H. And then the next thing we want to do is recurse four times on, let's just call it the tip of the H's. Is that, I think that should be all we need to do. Um, let me just make sure I have everything. Let's see. So draw a function. I think the hard, the hardest part might be drawing the, the H. Correct. What do you did now? So far it's correct. Okay. Yeah. Can I charger? Sure. So use the function. So draw line is already given, or do I have to do I have to implement? No, no. You think you can think that draw line is already implemented. So just just use it. You can pass four coordinates to this and just use it. Okay. Is there going to be a way to test that? No, actually we cannot test it. Okay. We cannot test it, but just. We can talk about the approach. Okay. Um, so let's see. So, so we'll say if our depth is zero, then we just want to return. That's going to be our best case. Okay. Um, otherwise, we want to recurse. So actually, at this point, we want to Okay, so it doesn't draw the whole H, it just draws a line. Right? So, let's see. So at this point, we're gonna draw, draw, we're gonna need to draw three lines. Exactly. And then at this point, we'll recurse four times. Now I just need to implement these parts, so draw three lines. Um, so, so say our X and Y is zero, zero, then initially, so our first line, um, will be, so draw line and I'm assuming we're on an infinite plane where we never run out of space, right? Okay, um, so X and Y, so it's probably going to be, so if X and Y is here and our length is here, we probably want to subtract it by half of the length. So we want to do, um, probably X minus length, let's see. 
minus length divided by two. Uh, so we need four spots. Y, right, because our X. So if we go back, it'll be X minus length times two, or Y is gonna be the same. And then when we go to the next spot, it's going to be X plus, oops, plus length uh, divided by two, and then Y. So that's gonna be the first line. Okay, uh, so what is this? What's up? What is this line? So this is the first, the first uh, hor um, the horizontal line. Horizontal line. Right. Okay. So now we need to do the other two lines. Um, so the next one is going to be probably x minus. Let's see. So. So we need to get the the top point and the bottom point. Um, so the top point is going to be x divided by length to the y will be y plus length divided by 2. And then we need to get the bottom part, which um, will also be x length divided by two, um, y minus length divided by two. And then finally, the last line will be um, almost the same thing. So I'm probably, I'm just gonna copy that. And it's yes. going to be x plus that, plus y, and then x plus that. Okay, so that's going to draw the line. Okay. Uh, now we need to do draw H tree four more times. And let's see, we can probably use the, uh, the previous lines here. Or the previous points. Um, So I think, okay, so we said the depth, um, so the depth will just be, it'll just be depth minus one. Um, okay, depth minus one, the length will be length times is it math dot square root of two why multiply it um reducing oh dividing okay sorry yeah you're right it should be divide yeah uh -huh. um Do that. Okay, and then X and Y will be. Uh, let's see. So the first one will be. I think it'll just be these four points. Uh, Probably should have saved these in variables, but okay. Okay. So X that's why. Okay, so that's the solution I would try. Um, yes. How does that look to you? Looks good. Yeah, it's correct. <laughs> okay. Yes. I wish there was a way yeah. to, to test it. 
two verticals and just we iteratively just yeah uh, keeps just, keeps just growing and growing yeah 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 cool good job okay thanks <laughs>